that wonderful smell. sales results from last quarter and the projections for the next. Thank you. Oh, man. Been a long night. the numbers. If we continue at this rate, Old Spice as we know it, this company that my, my grandfather built, they'll go down the tubes. We've got to do everything we can to make sure we keep this afloat. Yeah, I know who our competitors are. Bogus competitors. Trying to be us. Trying to take over. Well, I got something for him. We got a new mayor in this city. And I'm gonna call him in. It's time to play hardball. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep you informed. favor. Get me the mayor. Set up a time and a meeting. Yeah. Okay. It's time to go to my old bag of tricks. <laughs> Dear City as the 42nd mayor. It is my humble request to meet as soon as possible. I am available. Any day, any time, please get Hello. He's on his way.
uh, treated me to a great lunch. How you've been? I've, I've seen better days. I'll tell you the truth. I do understand that, and I, I can honestly say this meeting is one of the uh, going to be one of the bigger highlights of my day. If you don't mind saying that. Well, Mr. President, I'm so glad. How can I help you? Well, I'm so glad you asked. First of all, where are my manners? Would you like something to drink? I know it's been a hot day today, so, uh, oh, no, I am perfectly fine. I'm here for business only. I have enough drink for that. <laughs> I just meant water, sir. Come on. It's H2O. There you are. Thank you. How's the old lady? She's doing well. I called you in first and foremost. Yeah. I want to say congratulations on a campaign well fought. You did a wonderful job taking out the incumbent and uh, coming in. And you were running on a platform of change and coming in and cleaning up the streets. And sir, I can't get along with an agenda like that. Yes, I can. Thank you, Mr. President. Let me tell you this. The people are my number one priority. Serving the people has always been top priority for me. Okay. I try to work with many companies as much as possible in the area and in their neighborhood that I can get the city back to the prominence that it was. But that only comes by uh, recognition and uh, a little bit of incentive, if you know what I'm talking about. I said, well, let, let me tell you a little bit about our story first and foremost. Um, every time I even look at this bottle, it just brings back so many memories. It's a good bottle. This class of design, there's no other bottles that you can just distinguish quite like this. The fragrance, the many, many spices. Yes secret blend that we have very secret smell that oh, now that smells like money <laughs> well now that you said something about money yes the reason I called you here I'm so sad right now is because I've seen our sales projections and they are not good I, I see I see now from what I've gathered, your competition is breathing down your throat. Listen. No disrespect, Mr. Mayor. Competition or competitor is not what they're called. These are thieves. They stole my brand. Ah, ah, ah. They stole the brand. They changed my recipe. All the many spices we have in here. And there's three spices less. Uh, don't tell me. Essential spices. They added stuff. They diluted our brand. They make their bottles to look just like ours, indistinguishable from our bottles. They put them on the same shelves. They steal our clients. My sales numbers for the last quarter plummeted. Projections, everything down. If we continue going in this pace, I don't know if I have another year left. Let me tell you this. Now, they're very prominent in the neighborhood, all right? Very active in community service, very present in schools. Sir, what does that have to do with them stealing? See, this, this, you said, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said you were running on a campaign to clear this city of filth. How do you These think competitors are filth. They are thieves. They stole our name. They steal our brand. They steal our share. Ever since they got into the neighborhood, they've put up three community centers and one community center for the senior citizens. Now, now, who am I here to judge? Okay, I am just a mere citizen trying to do right. But in order for me to do right, I'm going to need some help. Okay, some monetary help by you, and you can do it. You can be one of the 
wants to bring the city back to the prominence that it once was. Why? I mean, helping me help you. Do you understand? My campaign is ran on the people, but it is sponsored. How can I say? By those the haves, not the have nots. I help the haves to help the have nots. Do you understand? I, you are a have. Okay, so I just want to make sure I'm hearing you correctly, okay? You want our company to invest in the community. Yes, invest, that's it, by putting up some green fields. Oh, yeah, green fields. Planting some things that would then bear fruits. It comes from trees. <laughs> it comes from trees, yes. What I so can make a few community gardens and put our name on it. Is that what you're saying? I can make that happen. Okay. But I'm going to need a little bit off the top. In order for me to do what I need to do, I need monetary financial backing. So are you asking for us to give you personal money? <laughs> not personal money. I'm not sure if you know, but that's illegal. I don't want to call it illegal. Let's call it a contribution, political contribution. You'd be doing the city a much to service. Do you understand that? You want your product to rise back to the top, don't you? You want to be in number one spot, don't you? You want your kids to eat. You want your wife to look at you the way that she used to look at you. You want your children to remember you as a hero. This is what it takes. It takes sacrifice. You love the city. You love your brand. You love the tradition that it brings. I've always played by the rules. This is a different set of rules. Listen. Listen. You're not hearing me. smells better. Exactly what you're gonna do for us. We need old 
Spice back. And hold on a second. That other guy, he needs to go down. <laughs> of course he will. Okay. Thank you. You know, I actually always liked you more than I liked him. He was a scumbag, but you, you're just a man doing this for your family, and you will prosper. Starting tomorrow, I have your name on all the radio stations in the city. Do you understand that? God bless you. And when I rise to mayor, you to will rise too. Ah, uh, yes, you are as smart and bright <laughs> as you are financially sound as I get to govern. Oh boy. I love this city. You never know, maybe even Senator. Even better. I like your style. But look, you will have our support. I don't know if this is a little too much to ask. I think that's a pretty good sum you have there, so. Could we be the official sponsor of this city? That would put us on a different category than anyone else. And I think this ought to put us in a different category than oh, anyone else. Oh, it is. Let me tell you this. You're on the right path. I smell success for you. If the sales number come in, like I think they should, with your help, I can promise you a uh, percentage. Your name, your work, your legacy is never forgotten. <laughs> it's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. Susie, call everyone back to the office for the next three weeks. There's double time and a half. We're going to right the wrongs. We're gonna turn the ship around. We've got people in our corner that are gonna help us. We're gonna rise from the ashes. Old Spice is going on a new, on a new journey. All hands on deck.